Hello and thank you for joining us for our Hope in Action e-conference. I hope you've been enjoying all of the talks by our wonderful presenters. My name is Jessica Moorthorpe. I'm the founder and director of the Five Leaf Eco Awards Ecumenical Environmental Change Program for churches and also now working for Uniting as a Uniting Earth Advocate. And in these jobs, uh, the thing that I really find hope in is all the wonderful examples of what different churches are doing for the environment. So I hope you'll also check out Dr. Miriam Pepper's awesome talk on the NCLS research and what churches are doing statistically all around Australia. But these are just a few exciting little examples of what churches and individuals are doing. So we have lots of different churches who are doing environment themed services. Uh, currently, we're in the season of creation in September, um, and so there are churches all around the country who will be doing these services and enjoying different themes like mountains, sky, land, water, um, and the different ways that this brings life to our worship. For example, finding different ways to bring nature into the service. Sometimes quite creative ways. Thanking God for the blessings of our wonderful pets and the animals that make such a difference in our lives. And even taking our worship outside to be amongst God's creation. Including things like walk and wonder or spirited bush walks, which is a way of mindfully walking through the bush and praying to God. We've got also lots of churches saving water in different ways. My favourite is Delilah. Uh, Delilah is a water tank at Maroubra Junction Uniting Church. And when they put the water tank in, they thought that she was a little bit humble. Um, so they decided to invite a local graffiti artist, Mystery, to come and paint the story of the woman at the well on the tank. Um, and not only is this beautiful and water themed, but it talks about welcome and inclusion, and this was a theme that the church really liked. We've also got lots of churches doing amazing things around community gardening and food. So this slide just shows you a couple of examples so that you can see that there's just a huge variety of what people are doing and how they're doing it. It really depends on their context. And we've got rural churches here, we've got city churches, we've got um, churches in dry areas, churches using permaculture, and churches um, setting up their gardens in all different styles. This Neutral Bay Uniting Church Garden in Sydney is also a really beautiful example of what you can do. Um, one of the great things about this is their fragrance garden, so they're bringing in all the different senses and they even have a little uh, passion fruit tunnel that you can walk through, which was the request of one of their seven-year-olds. And this is where they share the harvest with their local community. Warrandyte Uniting Church in Victoria um, set up this amazing native garden and peace wall, and they invited the local community to come and paint a tile to go into their artwork. And they actually had over a thousand different people paint a little tile. Um, so this has become a real symbol of their community coming together. This is St George's Uniting Church in Eden, the Garden of Eden. Um, so they not only have a community garden, they also have a native garden, an indigenous food garden, and they do a whole bunch of workshops around things like mosaics and um, making mud brick houses. In fact, they made their tool shed for the garden in one of the workshops that they ran. And I particularly love this quote from them. We started with enormous faith and no garden tools or money to buy them. On the first day it rained and only one person turned up, Roger. As it happened, he was an artist and designed our sign. And everything happened from there. So this is just to say that um, even when you're facing challenges and it rains on your first day, you can still end up being a truly amazing eco-church like St George's. We've also got churches doing great things to reduce waste. 
Uh, so this is Swan View Uniting Church in Western Australia. It's another awesome community garden, but what's particularly special about this one is that every single bed that they have is actually made from recycled materials. Uh, so the painted beds that you can see are actually old fridges. Um, and then they have old water tanks, old baths, even old bottles that they've turned into different planters, which is pretty amazing. And they also have a green waste collection. So anyone from the local community can bring their green waste and they'll just chip it up and use it in their compost for the garden. This is another sample. We've got lots of gardens, uh, lots of churches with uh, worm habitats, uh, different composting things, different repair initiatives and recycling initiatives. And Port Melbourne Uniting Church uh, run an event called the Skills Fest every year. Um, and this is really awesome because it brings together people with something to share, how to knit, how to cook, how to repair something, and people who would like to learn from them. Um, and so it's a really good way of reaching out across ages and groups um, and connecting skills and those who'd like to learn. We've also got lots of churches saving energy. And this can be as simple as using a lap rug in church on Sunday instead of having to turn the heaters on. And of course, lots of churches with solar panels. This is Indra Pili in Queensland. Another selection of awesome churches with panels, solar hot water, and even our solar crosses. And we've got several of these all around Australia, a great way of showing um, and witnessing to both our love of God and our love of God's creation. And uh, Tacoma United Church has this great little tagline, um, powered by the sun. And we've got many churches that are leading the way. We have churches who are doing various advocacy activities, who are talking to their members of parliament and encouraging them to take real action on things like climate change. We've got uh, churches like Moorabri Junction who actually put together a DVD of all of the work that they did to try and encourage other churches to take similar awesome actions. And we've got the Brunswick Food Co-op. This has been running since 2000 and it's a really exciting way of helping everyone to access truly sustainable organic produce. Um, they meet regularly to, to come and pick up their goods and their eco-friendly um, cleaning um, chemicals and things um, and uh, things are basically sold at price with, at cost price which means that no matter what your income you, you can still be part of the change that we need. This is St John's Cathedral in Brisbane. This is an amazing awesome uh, traditional Gothic cathedral but then you have the chickens and the bees at the back. And we've even got churches who are restoring their local ecosystems. So Charlestown Anglican Parish, um, we're doing some work with their youth around raising awareness of what we put down drains. Um, and we're also uh, helping to restore their uh, creek, which was next to their property. Um, and so this was completely choked up and full of lantana and things, um, but they've restored it now and now it looks like this. There are more stories that you can get from this booklet, from the Five Leaf Eco Awards website, and from our United Earth Web website. And this is only a tiny fraction of the awesome, um, encouraging stories that I have to tell uh, from my travels around Australia and, and meeting with amazing uh, eco churches around the place. So I hope that you have enjoyed this short introduction, but also that you'll invite me to come and visit your church and then I can tell you about some of the other awesome things that are happening. Thank you.